the first video of the SPGP38-2 custom painting series. Um, yep, this used to be a UP engine. Um, now it's stripped, and this up here I have already started painting. I'd let my um, camera charge up, camera battery charge up before I could do anything. Well, any any videos, so I go. I went ahead and painted it, and I would have um, brought to the hobby shop this morning when I went and bought the stuff, but um, again, this battery wasn't charged. And anyways, I bought some Floquil SP Lark Light Gray enamel. So all right, let's get started with also my new brush. Alright, so let's go. Okay, first of all I'm going to take the undercarriage, or the whole underbody out from underneath of the engine, and put it in a safe spot with the fuel tank. I'll be doing that later. And I keep all of my small parts and things I've already painted in here. A lot of stuff is in here, including a uh, cab, which is about 99% done. I'll be doing that a little bit later. But right now, let's work on the main shell. This is removable, but um, I'm just going to paint it while it's on there. It'll make it quite a bit easier. Okay, so let's get started painting. I'll start painting on the top again. Make sure you shake up your paint. This is probably the second time you see me at this angle. Um, at the workbench. The other one was Scenery Secrets Episode 1. Um, and I'm going to get right inside here real quick before I start any main stuff. And I'll get the grills. Didn't really get the grills too much yet. You don't want to go too fast or else as you experienced painters will know it will bubble up. So you want to go nice and slow. And this looks like a thick coat of paint, but it's not too much really. This is the first time I use Focal paint. I was going to use the Polyscale SP Lark Dark Gray, but I didn't really like dark gray color, so I just picked the Focal light gray version. I like the acrylics better, but I have to go with um, this color. For now. I like holding my engines while I paint them. It gives more maneuverability. Let's see if I can get in the grills here. These side grills. I'm the sniffles today. Pretty boring right now. It's painting. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? You're probably getting really bored at this moment. So what I'm gonna do is um, paint up the rest of the side, like from there to there, and then I'll continue on from there on the front and the back and that kind of stuff. So here is the engine with its full si full side completed. Okay, so the whole side is now done. It's about. Um, I'm going to poke those couple holes in that radiator up there. Or poke the bubbles, actually. To make sure I get the full detailing. The top fan is looking good. Looks good. Um, let's see. Now I'll do 
these radiators over here. Nice way to hold your engines, by the way, is to just go like this and put pressure on the outsides. It's a great way to hold your engine, and you won't get any thumbprints or anything on your engine. So, so um, alright, let's do the radiators now. I probably won't stop in between doing the radiators. Um, maybe possibly at the end of this video, I'll show off all the new scenery supplies that I got. Because, um, I also just got an order, um, let's see, yesterday, of a hundred pine trees. So, I'm going to be very, very busy, and I told that guy it'll be done by the end of the month, and he's going to come pick them up. So, that's nice, and I'll get about ninety dollars for it, but I'm not going to actually get ninety dollars. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a lock sound decoder. I'm getting, you remember that Sioux Line GP35 video I had? Well, um, I'm going to get the lock sound decoder for that, so I'll, that'll be one thing off my Christmas wish list. That's the only two things I want for Christmas, is the Sioux Line GP35 and lock sound decoder. Um, I was undecided about lock sound or tsunami and he told me lock sound he thinks is better even though it's a little bit higher price it comes with a speaker unlike tsunami you have to buy a speaker for that and um anyways retail they're about 160 he was selling them for 140 and he would give it to me for 130 so if i give him 90 dollars with the trees and then I'll I just have to give him forty dollars and I'll be able to get a lock sound decoder. And that'll be a lot easier on my parents because I don't think they want to pay a hundred and sixty dollars for a little sound decoder and another hundred dollars for an engine. And I've been wanting um a sound decoder for a while, so it'll be cool. It won't be going in this engine, so don't think it's gonna go in this engine. This engine already has its little Z-scale mobile decoder. Um, so, it will be going in this. It will be going in my engine that I get for Christmas. And it, that's now the only thing I want for Christmas. Well, actually, um, there's a, uh, like three things I want. I want the Atherin Race Rule GP35 for Sioux Line. Um, two Pico right hand small radius turnouts for the yard and four or five pieces of flex well, actually five pieces of flex track for the yard I want to possibly get the yard done by the end of this year and then I'll be able to have a completely operable railroad so that'd be nice and well already that was pretty fast um looks like I'm on the opposite side already so I'll do the same thing I did again. I'll just stop the video right here. And then um, I'll show you the completed opposite side. Okay, so um, I just painted that side. And oh, I forgot a little bit in the grills here. Copyright 2009, Gray Shall Live On Productions.